afternoon radio fans I've come across something that I have not seen ever there ain't much of that in electricity electronics or circuits I haven't seen but there's one hard fast rule that you really can't find published anywhere I found it from one source that our old friend or enemy or friend of me the electrolytic capacitor must be operated at half of its working voltage DC rating. That's a 450 volt capacitor. It must be operated at half of that for an acceptable life. And the capacitor manufacturers don't explain that. I found one book that makes a definite reference to it. I found it through Google. And it's a, an introduction to switching power supplies. You can probably find it by that. But in that, in that uh, text, the author says double the uh, working voltage for the capacitors and also mentions a figure of a half a having of capacitor life for I th think he said a 10 degree C rise in temperature so temperature is a disaster this tube tester is turning into a real pig trying to get light dimmers to work with transformers with diode capacitor power supplies it sounds simple but it isn't because there's a significant difference in, in ranges of voltages and currents needed for the different elements for the, the triodes and the tetrodes. That turns out to be the dividing line. Does it have a screen grid or not? So here's the, what's supposed to be the 500 volt DC supply for the uh, tetrodes. The, uh, the uh, 4-400, 500, and 1000 tubes. There's a 110 to 240 isolation transformer, and I build a voltage doubler. I actually build a, a, a diode bridge. One in 4,007 diodes, plenty heavily rated. A uh, resistive divider circuit for uh, the blue wire for the meter. AC in about 240. Output, I need at least 500 a bit more yet for uh, adjustability and getter clips over to 28k for a, just a load bank and two electrolytics in series i don't know 20 or 30 some microfarad at 450 volts a piece notice that 450 volts each and there's a circuit Works great, lasts a long time, nice and clean, very low AC ripple, 300 volts out, not enough, it's got to be at least 500. And since the light dimmers I'm using only put out about 80% of line voltage, I need to increase that then by 80%. So not rocket science, but um, we see the critical factor, two 450 volt capacitors in series is 900, way more than 300, work good, lasts a long time. I didn't want to tear that board all apart. Nice, good, real high voltage insulating board. Fairly good construction. I don't want to tear, tear it apart to go to a voltage doubler topology. So what I found is there's a trick with this full wave bridge supply that the, uh, the bottom AC leg of the bridge, the bridge is, a, is the diamond shape that implies a diode in each line. With the bottom of that bridge, can see in the in the, uh, the top circuit the bottom of the bridge is connected to the bottom of the transformer if that is connected to the split capacitor then when that's connected like that the bridge bypasses two diodes and it becomes a voltage doubler topology so with a switch or a jumper you get twice the voltage so i jumpered it i started it up with a dimmer started off at oh 17 volts hit the jumper it turned out to be 40 that's about double up to in doubler mode it went up to 560 dc with a 28k ohm load well yippee ki yay 560 is more than i need i can just turn it down a bit to 500 and the 4-1000 is happy and problem is a very strange thing started to happen the uh, voltmeter which is not on but it was reading uh, 56.0 which times 10 is 560 
and occasionally it would flash down to zero and come back on, and it never did that before. It seemed kind of random. Be on for several seconds, blink, go to zero, come back on. Is the meter bad? Is there a bad wire? What is it? I shook all the connections, checked all the connections, poked and pulled all the wires, nothing. It just seemed kind of odd. And what was really strange is when I advanced the, uh, the voltage control up to about yay, the voltage would go to 480 or so. And then the power transformer started buzzing and screaming like something's drawing a whole crap load of current. Continued to advance the control and suddenly it would go from 480, jump all the way up to maximum, 560. No in between. When it jumped to 560, the buzzing stopped. Now this, this is extremely strange because it's a whole pile of apparently unrelated symptoms. But they're related. And in something I've never seen happen in 50 years of farting with this stuff. Transformer buzzing means something's drawing a whole lot of current. That's a 50 watt transformer. The load's only 10 watts. So something is sinking a bunch of current making a transformer buzz. Or something's out of balance. Um, the high voltage transformer buzzed on a half wave uh, source. That's why I went to full wave. So, but the voltage doubler is a is still a half wave topology. So, but this this supply didn't do that before on a on a half wave. Only only the big one did that. So something was drawing a lot of current and then suddenly stopping drawing current, and apparently going open circuit because jumping up to five sixty was what happens when it took the load off. There's almost no way to walk in the room and sort that mess out. A decent engineer would come in and say, no, no wait a minute, that, that, that pile of stuff doesn't make any sense. Let's stop and start over. And the problem here is that my choice of capacitors violated that rule, not only of not observing twice working voltage, but I actually exceeded either met or exceeded the working voltage for each capacitor. Well, now, how can that do that when the output is 560 volts DC, but the capacitors are good for 900? Well, that 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 still shouldn't be. That, that's going to shave some life off the other end. But there's no way that should be a bring of failure in just a few minutes or an hour. And these capacitors, I tested them. They're good. I have only new stock capacitors. That's two 450 volt caps in series for 900. But see, the problem is the voltage doubler topology does this. It's a switcher. And every half cycle, it switches from charging the top capacitor to the bottom capacitor. It doesn't charge them both at once like this. And that's what led to a whole bunch of ripple and inefficiency in the high voltage supply. But this full wave supply had produced 300 volt DC. Well, 300 times 2, j just for a rough guess, is 600. That's less than 950, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. But here's where the problem comes in. 300 volts. If we divide that by 0.637, whoops, to find the corresponding AC peak that corresponds with 300 volts, we get, oh crap, we get this, capacitor ship hits the fan, because that's 20 volts over what that capacitor is rated for and the capacitors were breaking down. Strange problem, I've never seen it. Of course, I doing lots of bench and service work, I've seen stuff after it broke usually. I've not generally seen something new like this go into failure that quickly. So while the total DC voltage is only 560, the instantaneous exceed, meets or exceeds the ratings of the capacitors. And I had used this same circuit, exact same diodes. I went in 4007, plenty overrated. 
Same, in fact, these are a little bit higher rated capacitors at 450. I was using four, four 400 volt caps in series before. The difference here is I went to two capacitors and I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't stop to carry the circuit analysis all the way through. I just wanted to toss it together and mainly verify if the, if the uh, AC dimmer was going to work and it works great. Beware. Beware of diodes, transistors, and that hard plastic. They can explode violently. And they can throw pieces of plastic this far. I've seen MOSFET, MOSFETs explode like firecrackers. Capacitors, these new caps are vented. They can blow chemical, vapors, steam, pieces of paper, and foil all over this workbench. Once upon a time in an old TV, I saw an electric electrolytic explode and look like a one of the confetti pops and it threw junk on the floor for a two foot radius and the Sears years ago one of the TV techs had an electrolytic short and it went up 10 feet and stuck in the ceiling so beware but hard fast rule and if I'd observed it I wouldn't be here but um, that capacitor is only good for working 225 DC and that includes peak because many components have a peak voltage rating max voltage and that's not a function of time that is like when I shorted the high voltage diodes here one time just one time of over voltage that's the end of it for milliseconds possibly because it's a material property and exceed the voltage of that and cause a breakover inside and cause an arc channel and uh, just hope and pray it doesn't run away and draw a tremendous amount of current and turn into a little bomb so there it is proof of the twice working voltage rating for electrolytic capacitors kbyp